Haley with the Altcoin Buzz Ladies, and today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on smart contracts. For all of you crypto newbies, you've probably heard this term um, and may not be fully familiar with it. So I'm going to go over today what smart contracts are and how they are applicable to crypto cryptocurrency. And just a quick note, again, I am not a financial advisor, and all opinions expressed here are that of my own. So let's get started. Uh, just some smart contract basics first. Uh, a smart contract is written in cryptographic code. It is stored on the blockchain. It is a decentralized system that exists between parties, um, and basically... The biggest pro of of using a smart contract is that it gets rid of the middleman. Um, so that's why they are highly beneficial. Um, and it also saves time and conflict. Um, it's faster, cheaper, and more secure than traditional systems. That is why businesses, governments, and institutions are starting to uh, lean toward more towards smart contracts and uh, blockchain. It was developed in 1994 by a cryptographer and legal scholar named Nick Zabo. Um, he realized that the decentralized ledger could be used for smart contracts um, or self-executing contracts. Uh, we'll go over this in more detail, but basically contracts could be converted to computer code stored and replicated on a system of computers supervised by a network that are run on the blockchain. This would result in ledger feedback, such as tra uh, transferring of money and receiving of a product or service. So again, what can be exchanged with smart contracts? We'll go into more detail here in a few minutes about real world uses of smart contracts, but basically anything of value can be exchanged with smart contracts. Money, property, shares, uh, just really anything that has any kind of value associated with it. And how it works, here's a quick graphic I took from Block Geeks that breaks down in lamest terms how a smart contract works. There is an option contact between parties and it is written in code into the blockchain. The individuals involved in this process are anonymous, but the contact is the public ledger. Um, in a triggering event, like an expiration date or a hit price, it um, executes the contract according to the coded terms. And regulators can use the blockchain to understand the activity in the market and maintain the privacy of individual actors' positions. So it's basically just a contract that's written in code that has a certain event that sets off a trigger for that contact contract to run um, and it produces an outcome. So basically to break it down in even more basic terms and how it was originally envisioned, uh, Zabo envisioned it as a real world vending machine. So basically with a vending machine, you put your dollar bill in or nowadays you swipe your credit card, you press your numbers and you receive that item, whether it's chips, a candy bar or a soda, whatever it is. So he envisioned smart contracts to be similar where users would input data and they would receive a finite item from the machine. Um, basically this data he called a snack or a drink. So that's kind of really, really basic terms of what a smart contract is and its intended use. So how do smart contracts and crypto go together? Cryptocurrencies are typically used to trigger smart contracts. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency to use smart contracts, um, but it, it, it is limited to just currency use. Ethereum saw this and um, allowed developers to program their own smart contracts or aut autonomous agents. So Ethereum took the, the Bitcoin's at first intended use a little bit further and now allows developers to, uh, to develop programs that utilize smart contracts. And just a couple real world uses of smart contracts. Uh, logistics is one. Um, we do so much today with shipping and receiving of items and fulfilling of items um, via e-commerce that the logistics aspect has become very important. It allows for more transparency 
location data is basically written into the smart contracts. So it allows for better tracking across multiple platforms. Um, and then another one is insurance. Uh, again, we rely so heavily on insurance, whether it's homeowners, healthcare, automobile, and anything in between. It allows for cl faster claims processing. Um, basically, insured events cause input conditions for smart contracts to be changed accordingly and claims will be processed once the trigger is fired. So basically, if there is something um, like a major event, like an earthquake, it would automatically be inputted in the magnitude of the earthquake would be inputted into the system and uh, that would be the trigger that fires the claims processing. So it's a lot faster and a lot more efficient. The entertainment industry, this is another big one that's come up as we have, you know, utilize social media now so much. Um, it helps track ownership rights of content. All participants know who owns the right of content and then royalty payments will be triggered automatically. Another no-brainer use of this is real estate. There are so many, many middlemen in real estate from lawyers to agents to brokers. Um, real estate is just a complicated process filled with many middlemen. So this makes it, simplifies the process and hopes to get rid of a lot of these middlemen. And then healthcare again is another one that has a lot of middlemen from the billing processors and the coding processors. So it, um, it aims for personal healthcare records to be stored on the blockchain and billing can be done using smart contracts. Going back to insurance, um, the, uh, your healthcare information can be entered into the system and the billing process can automatically be triggered um, and claims can be processed. And here are just some basic uh, points. Again, I, this information is courtesy of Block Geeks of what smart contracts provide users. The first is safety. Cryptography is an encryption of websites and it keeps your documents safe. There's no hacking. Uh, it would actually take an abnormally smart hacker to crack the code and infiltrate. Autonomy is another big one. You're, you're the one making the agreement. There's Again, there's no middleman. There's no broker or lawyer or intermediate, intermediaries to interfere. Um, this knock, knocks out the danger of manipulation by a third party uh, since the contract is executed automatically by the network. Trust is another one. Uh, your documents are encrypted on the shared ledger, so there's no way they can be lost. Uh, speed, again, this was one we highlighted. Um, you'd have to spend a lot of time and paperwork to manually process a lot of this information, and smart contracts help to uh, speed this process up and automate it, um, shaving off hours off a range of businesses' processes. Savings, again, they can save you money because they knock out the middleman. You don't have to pay for notaries. You don't have to pay for lawyers, which can be very expensive. And then lastly, accuracy. Um, automated contracts are not only faster and cheaper, but they also avoid the errors that come with manually filling out heaps of forms and paperwork. So that is just a very basic rundown of smart contracts and their use in the crypto world. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I also want to invite you to follow the Altcoin Buzz ladies on YouTube and subscribe to our podcast channel. We hope to deliver you good educational uh, content. Uh, so stay tuned and subscribe. And again, thanks again for joining me and stay tuned for my next presentation.